Cody here with another Blu-ray unboxing for you guys today. And today we're going to be doing an unboxing of Digimon Digital Monsters here. The complete first season for the first time ever on Blu-ray released by Discotech Media. I am very excited to finally, uh, you know, check this in its out in its entirety because I've been working on the DVDs for a while. And as you guys know, I did a video, you know, talking about how I ended up getting a, a bootleg I, I hated going through that experience. So to have an actual high definition source of this show on Blu-ray for the first time ever, it's great. It was towards the ass end of my interest in, you know, cartoons and stuff like that. <clears throat> when it came to uh, Fox Kids, I remember this being on uh, after a bunch of shows I used to watch when I was a kid and I was extremely into Pokemon. So it kind of felt like I was this was kind of like out of my league a little bit, but in the end, I ended up actually enjoying it. So anyway, Digimon Digital Monsters here. As you guys can see, here is the front right there. We have Tai and Agumon right there on the front. Um, this is uh, English, uh, Eng English language version, episodes 1 through 54 right there. So there's that. There's the side right there. And then we have the back. Digimon are the champions right there. You got some nice uh, shots from the show and some character images right there. Has some features and all new restoration and high definition. Television promos and art galleries there. There's a synopsis if you guys wish to pause and read, read it right there. So let's go ahead and take it out of the plastic and take a closer look at it. All right, guys, so taking the slip cover off, ooh, we have actually some really nice new artwork going on here on the front there with a bunch of character profiles going on there. For the life of me, I do not know the names of a lot of these characters. Um, I remember there was a kid named TK. Um, actually, you know what? The characters are probably on the back here. As I was, yeah, so Sora... Ta okay, Ty, Sora, Matt, TK, and the rest of the Digi Destined right there. So there is that. There's the back. And the back actually has some different artwork as well, which is pretty cool. Like I said, it's been a while since I've watched this show. But opening it up here, we have the inside. And uh, there's actually reversible art in here. Oh, it's the artwork from the slip cover right there. So we're gonna probably end up keeping the, you know, the nicer, like uh, different artwork going on right there. But we have the discs here. As you guys can see, we got some characters on the, on the discs, which I love the color combo going on right there. Fits the characters. This is pretty awesome. Yeah. I really like this. This is pretty cool. I love the, the look of this in general. Very eye-catching. Yeah, like I said, I didn't really grow up with Digimon. I was very much aware of it. Again, and you know, on the playground and stuff like that, everyone was either a Pokemon fan or a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. And when Digimon came out, it was towards my, uh, you know, it was in 1999. So I'm trying to think. It was, it had to have been like right at the end of my elementary school years. So it really didn't become played at ground discussion at the time, which was interesting. So it'll be fun to kind of revisit and enjoy this show and um, kind of see what I missed out on when I was younger. So, but guys, as always, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll be back with more videos soon. And I'll talk to you guys later.